Hi, this is Collier Spreen with Avid Pro Audio. I'm going to show you some brand new features in Pro Tools 10 that don't fall under any specific category, but have some great functionality and capability. This is the first of two. To start with the simple stuff, names. To more closely align Pro Tools and Avid Media Composer, some terminology within both platforms has been changed. See all the changes in the graphic on the screen. In Pro Tools 10, the more obvious changes are as follows. Regions are now called clips, and any feature or object using the descriptor region is changed to clip. Start and end markers in Pro Tools are now called in and out points. The phrase time code has been efficiently condensed into the singular time code. In addition, all files and folders with the digit design name have been rebranded to the Avid name. From the application folder itself, the plugins folder, and anywhere it used to display the word digit design, it now reads Avid. The new suffix .ptx replaces the old .ptf file format in new Pro Tools 10. These new .ptx files must be saved copy in in a lower session format to open in a version below Pro Tools 10. A very welcome addition to Pro Tools 10 is the interleave file and mixed file format capability. You can have both AIF and .wav files in the same session, along with support for RF64 files. Also, interleave files can be imported or recorded with the interleave option chosen in the session setup. In addition, 16, 24, and 32 floating point bit depth files can all coexist peacefully within the same session. You can actually change bit depth and file format in the middle of a session. Sample rate, however, must remain constant. A small but powerful change within Pro Tools 10 is the addition of a third level of automatic delay compensation bringing the largest number of samples up to 16K, as well as the original 4K and 1K settings. Another new feature in Pro Tools 10 is the clip list reveal in Finder or Explorer command. Pro Tools 10 lets you right-click any individual clip in the clip list to reveal the parent file in the Finder on a Mac or Windows Explorer on Windows. Some great control surface functions have been brought to the software user interface, such as solo and mute indicators. And like our high-end consoles, clicking the yellow solo indicator also clears the solos. The red mute icon is strictly an indicator that one or more tracks are muted. Both are very valuable in sessions with high track counts and with tracks that are soloed or muted and out of view of the mixer page. 